Alrighty. Welcome to my stream, part 7. We are going to be playing The Forgotten City, a game set in ancient Rome during a uh, time loop. Well, not Rome itself, a Roman city. And uh, if you have questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. Feel free to just say hi. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Just making sure we are all set up. Okie dokie. Yes, so, um, content warning just based on last week's stream. Uh, there is a lot of talk of suicide in this game, and sometimes even depictions of it. I don't know if we'll be seeing any of that today, but uh, there are also some sections with combat with zombie-like beings, so just be forewarned. Those are both things that might happen today. We'll see where we go. So let's dive on in out where we left off. Now, I don't actually quite remember where we left off, whether we had started a new go round the loop There's a lot going on in this day. Very Groundhog Day in that way. But I suppose when you're 23 people trapped in an underground city not knowing what the heck is going on and with lots of golden statues telling you to beware lest you break the golden rule, well, you know, things happen. While we're waiting for it to finish loading, I'll talk a little bit more about what's been happening in the game. So every time we start off having gone through the time loop via Proserpina's graces, the goddess, the, the queen goddess of the underworld who is helping us, we think, through the whispers of the statues but warning us also that he sees with their eyes and hears with their ears, whoever he is. I mean, probably Hades, but... Um, there's an election today, and if we let it just happen, um, a an awful thug will win and have his bully boy attempt to kill the prior magistrate, which will cause the golden rule to be broken, and everybody gets shot, turned into statues, and you have to start over again. Um, you can also, we found out, there seems to be a way to get them to elect the local farmer, Galerius, but I haven't figured out how yet. <laughs> Galerius is a good guy. He's the first, first guy we meet every time. And you can get him to help you out with no real questions asked. Um, but he also is surprisingly understanding of the concept of time travel. <laughs> um, he's sweet on someone. I still haven't figured out who, uh, but my vote is for the architect, Virgil. I hope that they are cute and in love and that everything will be good. Um... There's this old woman, Livia, who has figured out that we are the dead. 
this is some part of the underworld, and the Vestal Priestess, Equitia, has also figured this out, but is a little bit less prone to madly reciting the Ovidian lines about the underworld over and over again. <laughs> um, the Magistrate's youngest daughter, Santilla, has vanished. Nobody knows where she went. Well, somebody probably knows, but we haven't figured out who yet. Uh, we have figured out that she was in love with Ulpius, who is uh, lost without her, and that there is a secret Christian sect here that is kind of maddening. Um, not gonna lie, I always find Christians as a as a block kind of maddening. Not individual Christians, but <clears throat> there's a lot of holier than thou nonsense there. Not not that the pen the pagan Sentius is any better. <laughs> You're welcome, Kiki. <laughs> a lifetime full of microaggressions against me has uh, has kind of worn down my tolerance for the assumptions that Christians tend to make about everyone in their surroundings. What do you mean I've been idle for too long? I'm waiting for it to load. Goodness, this game. <laughs> um, more seriously, though, in this game, we are set in around 65 CE, which is to say that these characters mostly died during the, fi the Great Fire in Rome. Um, the one that you hear about as... Nero fiddling while Rome burned, and Nero is trying to blame the Christians. He's even sent an assassin after the supposed head of the Christian cult in this area, um, which is an interesting little sideline. Um, did the Christians set the fire? Probably not. Did Nero set the fire? Also probably not, but that's, you know, the best we got. Okay, the loading thing is gone. <laughs> Will it start now? Maybe I should try starting this game a few minutes early. <laughs> Not that I didn't start it a few minutes early, but... Okay, come on. It's just not cool. Well, I guess it's time for a ramble about some ancient stuff that got mentioned that I have... Yeah, it really... Yeah, the cloud is getting less and less cooperative every time. You're absolutely right, Kiki. I don't know what's up with that. Okay! Well, here we are. Outside of the villas. Um, I have no idea what I was doing. I must have just talked to Maliolus. Um... So, what can we do from here? Um, well, we have been, uh, what's this? She's scrubbing the walls like there was something on them. Oh boy. Uh, well, I hit the talk button. <laughs> we'll see if she pays any attention to me or if I ever get to move again. Come on, Lucretia. You gonna stop scrubbing that wall for a moment? There we go. Feeling alright? Okay. Sure. What do you want to know? Do you really want to know? 
I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule, and so maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Gladly. Well, it seems she doesn't have anything new for us, despite the fact that we That's haven't talked shame. to her. Then. Thanks again for saving Yulia's life. Apollo smiles upon you. Oh, but she knows it was us. I mean, Galerius came and actually did it this time, but he must have told her about it. So... Hi, Yulia. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm still a bit out of it. Galerius just up the saved my life. Bit. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. Huh? No. I did hear from Ulpius that she disappeared. It's very sad. She was such a lovely young woman. But I'd been locked in Maliolus's villa for months before she went missing, so... I can't help you, I'm afraid. May Apollo keep you safe? You mean my life story? Oh, well, I grew up as part of a big family in Rome. Me and three older sisters. I think sisters. we went through this before. Our father found good husbands for my sisters. Ah, yes. But I, I remember uh, thinking that Yulia that has fallen far to have become essentially so a slave. So he found me a job as a scribe for a prominent merchant. It was a good life for a while. Until seven months ago when the fires came. My colleagues and I worked desperately to try to protect our warehouse. We must have had a hundred workers passing buckets of water, chanting prayers to Vulcan. Did I talk about Vulcan? But they Vulcan fell on deaf ears. We, we went through this. The fire was relentless and it claimed everything and everyone. Well, almost everyone. My employer told me to grab what valuables I could and flee for the Tiber, with the crowds. I remember diving into the river, and then... The next thing I knew, I was waking up on the riverbank not far from here. Alright, so I think we've talked all right. through all of these options. Uh, but to just give a little brief discussion on Vulcan, Vulcan uh, being... Um, more or less equated with Greek Hephaestus. Um, so he is the yeah, god boy, of fire and of craft. Um, he's, you know, presumably they prayed to him so that the fire might go away. But I heard something. Ah, weighed against the current. Thank you, Mysterious Whisper. Shrine's already collapsed. Let's, uh... Let's take some arrows. Do we want another wooden bow? I don't want another wooden bow. I already have two. Okay, so that way lies the baths. Um... I still just love the idea of, of using these horrifying golden statues as wares. Oh. Ah, our weaselly friend Decius. You there. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I couldn't help but notice that fine gold leaf bow you're carrying. In fact, if I didn't know better, I'd say it looked like my own handiwork. Funny that. You've given me an idea for a scheme that will make us both very, very wealthy. First, I'll open the Shrine of Diana for you. Then, you enter the Shrine, extinguish the braziers, and under cover of darkness, swap out the fake for the original. It's not theft, exactly. It's more of a... a trade. But make no mistake, this is a dangerous path, and there's no way of knowing where it will lead. But in my experience, all the best adventures begin with a risky first step. It now, is. you must have questions. Such a Ask snake. Away. I So, are you in, partner? Now, 
and I've gone and unlocked the Shrine of Diana for you. So as quick as you can, head on inside. It's just at the end of the street on the left. May the gods not watch over you. Alright. I think maybe it's time. Maybe that's what we should do today. Let's, uh... We've entered the Shrine of Diana. There are a bunch of... What's a Beehive? Hornet nest? Beautiful golden statues, just like you'd expect. And the same two reliefs, repeated and repeated. Hadrian and, uh... The Sabine women. Um, we can inspect this one in particular. And a beautiful statue of Diana. So this one is... I, I haven't seen this statue anywhere. I don't I don't ever remember seeing a statue of Diana with her breast bared. And I don't know what this half skirt thing is. Um so and, and also it seems to be made out of multiple types of stone, as if it's meant to be viewed unpainted. Which yeah, so I think I, I think they made this up so that they could have the uh, the golden bow in particular. And I don't I don't know what's with calling her the goddess of the underworld. I really don't. Like that's that's not a thing that I. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Kiki. Yeah, this is not a real thing. Um, oh, but she does have these nice arrows. Apparently, doesn't break the golden rule to take those. Um, but yes, so Diana, goddess of the hunt, goddess of the moon, uh, when it's not Selene, and apparently in this version, goddess of the underworld. Um, though it doesn't, doesn't give us an option to swap out the bow before we put out the braziers, but, uh, let's... Go ahead and do that. Now, I know this is possible because I've done it before. But ah, there we go. We just have to have to put our pointer right exactly in the right spot. Somehow that turns the braziers back on, but we did not break the rule. So, cool beans. Is that you, partner? Ah, you shit. The <laughs> what a weasel. Wonderful. Just go ahead and slide it under the door for me, and I'll unlock it for you. A little bit slow, aren't you? Yes, I locked you in. And until you give me my bow, you're gonna stay in there, like Tantalus in Tartarus. And this is part of part of how I figure that, you know, the Golden Rule is really very particular to how people frame their actions. Although it does seem to depend on whether or not the statues can see and hear you. <laughs> no, technically, I never said that. I said, if we were to split all those riches between the two of us, infinite wealth is still infinite. It's hardly my fault if you can't tell the difference between a hypothetical and a promise now, is it? Oh, I do love a good loophole. I, I wonder if saying that we're going to kill him breaks the golden rule. Should we find out? You think it will? I think it will too. Okay, so let's let's not then. Yeah? We'll pass. You're just gonna have to take your chances, I'm afraid. The bow, now. And don't even think about giving me the fake one. I'll recognize my own handiwork. Yeah, that that's apparently true. <laughs> It's funny, they don't actually give us the option to give it to him. I wonder why. I, you'd think it would be kind of interesting. 
I mean, surely it would wind up with him breaking the golden rule very fast, given his uh, tendencies. I would reconsider my position quickly if I were you. I'm not sure if you noticed, but you're stuck in there with a hornet's nest, and they can be rather aggressive toward intruders. You know, some say it takes 27 hornet stings to kill a man, but I always wondered how anyone could have known that. Let's find out how many it takes to kill a woman, shall we? I do feel like that number comes from something. Uh, sounds very Catonian. So now we have a golden bow. Uh, we've got 40 arrows in stock, apparently. That's pretty nice. And uh, everybody in here is gold. So. The whisper is telling us the nest. Okay. Well, that's pretty heavy. That is pretty heavy indeed, and that is a lot of hornets. And I'm out of here. And now we get to explore the tunnel system! Now, every adventure we've had in the tunnel system so far has been messy, mysterious, and led us somewhere strange. This is probably no exception. That is a lot of gold. That is a skeleton! How do we wind up with a skeleton here? Hello. Well, I'll definitely take more arrows. Arrows are good. But, uh... Who are you? There's a broken lamp. An old chest. Little amphora that could really be anything at all. How did you get down here? Like, that seems pretty clear that that mosaic was built over the hole. But, uh. Alright. Something glimmering over there. Bioluminescence. Very pretty. So, water down here. Natural caves, but definitely shored up. Look at these uh, layered stones. So, now feels like a good time to warn you that if you do not want to see combat with zombies, the stream is going to be full of it. Skeleton. Absolutely fascinating. But people died down here maybe of starvation or who knows, but not of breaking the golden rule. And we see these these butterflies, and we've seen those before, right? We've seen them around a bunch of vines and things. Our mysterious friend is saying the algae. So I wonder. Yeah, pretty nice. I wonder if we can climb onto that from the water or if we have to uh, shoot this side too. Oh, we can climb onto that from here. Oh, hello. Yes, hi. She just looks straight at us. <laughs> so slightly older. Ah, did it again. Older model of woman. So got a mysterious tunnel.
Huh. It looks like this used to be a way, but we have nothing to unblock it. Oh, there's a light over there. Oh. Somebody died going through. So that cave-in was a long, long time ago. But... There's... Nyvia's journal. Now remember, Nyvia was the physician that this. Lucretia took so over that from. So... Finally together. She locked herself in the palace and... Nobody knows what's happening with her. call me mad or a monster. But I don't care what they think. Everything I'm doing here, I'm doing for you. I'll start at the beginning. Soon after my arrival here, as I walked down a corridor lined with golden statues, I thought I heard a whisper behind me. A rasp of air, as if vocal cords of metal strained to say a word or two. I tried to dismiss the idea, tried to concentrate on my work as the city's medic, but that tortured whisper haunted me. Weeks later, in the hallway to the bathhouse, I heard it again and found myself drawn to the statue of a Roman woman wearing a stola. Her face was contorted with anguish and fear, and disturbingly, it was as if she was looking right at me. As I walked past her, I heard that strained whisper again, and turning back, I discovered that, even though I had moved, she was still looking right into my soul. That was when it dawned on me. This was no statue. This was a woman trapped within that golden prison. Naturally, I told the others, but when I could not reproduce the results of my experiment, they would not believe me. But from that moment on, I knew the full horror of this place. Immobilized within these statues are living human beings. It was that day, my love, that my heart broke. Whew. Okay, so... Nivea started hearing whispers from golden statues. Everybody thought she was mad. Uh, clearly she tried to convince them when she saw the statues' heads turning. But... Well, I guess they aren't hollow, but uh, that's equally as worrying, I would think. Uh, where's another ledge? Here's another ledge. Up we go, up we go. Oof. Ow. Damn. Well, that stinks. Uh, fortunately, our health refills if we just stand still, so I guess I'll stand still for a bit. Or does it? Ooh. Well, that's no good. <laughs> Oh, okay, it is refilling just slower than I thought. Oh no, I'm supposed to be able to jump this. Alright, there we go. Much better. Okay. Can see out. I can't get out. Back down where we were. More arrows. Fantastic. Give me all of the arrows. Yep, it does in fact work on vines. Sweet. Okay, so one fascinating thing about this is, like, this really just cannot be gold. 
Like, it just does not move like gold. It does not work like gold. There's no way that vines made out of gold would support a human weight like that. Gold is a soft, bending metal. And much, much heavier. Well, that's very bright. And it looks like that's taking us up into a building. A very fancy building. These worked marble friezes around the bottom. I think this is the same freeze we saw in the bathhouse. But the gold on the on the ceiling tiles is very much the same, but these marble, marble parquet floors are very modern feeling. Um, this definitely looks like it's meant to be seen unpainted, which I, I just always think is very funny. Um, because, of course, everything was painted. <laughs> everything but the mosaics on the floors. Um, they... They really went in for much brighter coloration than this sort of office marble white. Alright, we've got our typical... Uh-oh, loading. That's not a good sign. But we've got our typical lion foot brazier overturned. Let's see what happens. Those textiles are just fabulous. One day I should really research Roman dyeing techniques. Or, at very least, Greek dyeing techniques. I mean, I know about Murex purple, which is the most expensive dye, which was uh, made from sea snails. You can still get it. Oh, that's interesting that we have a, a bit of brick wall here. I wonder why that is. So we've got a, a door this way and an opening this way. Let's... Take a look. Alright, so these doors are shut. They're blocked. Um, but we have confirmation that this is the palace, if nothing else, because of these purple columns, which are like nothing in nature that I know of. Um, I don't know if there's purple marble like that, but if there is, I could definitely see them using it this way. Now, interestingly, here, in addition to our typical friezes, we have the Proserpina and Keres frieze with the circular portal. Some kind of circular plate? How very odd. Um, hmm. This is a neat sort of a jug. I'm not really familiar with uh, that style of design for Roman things. Feels much more typically... That abstract feels a little bit more Greek to me. Purple stone probably is actually porphyry. I didn't know porphyry looked like that. Oh, to make giant columns out of porphyry. Well, okay. I mean, if you want lavish... Okay, and here we do have confirmation that this freeze is the same as the one in the bathhouse. Up a little closer. I honestly still don't know what to make of it. Although I can confirm now that those are horses being attacked by lions. Yeah, so... Kermie's red, uh, as Kiki is saying. Another common dye. A, a nice bright carmine red. Very 
popular in Rome, for sure. Um, we've got some more barred doors, which they do not give us the option to unbar. You would think that would be the easiest way out of the palace, right? Uh, this woman, very scared. More arrows. I guess I'll take them. What is that? That jug looks embossed. It's a very strange style. Statuary corridor. Some folks in armor. Everybody staring at us. Good deal. Dust motes in the air. And here we meet Terror. Yield statue. Go away. Ah, get off me. No. I'm not very good at this, sorry. Peeled statue. Gosh. Turn them back to gold, but it, uh. Oh, it does not help. So that's our zombies. Ah, indeed. Um. Kick it. Die again. Um. So. Yeah, very sad. Um, especially if you heard her speak, because what she said was the pain. So, not exactly a happy thing. And, you know, at this point, you can put two and two together and get Naiwia horror stories, huh? Because um, if somebody... Yeah, the pain make it stop. Well... Sometimes they'll thank you. It's it's really sad. Um, I'll wait to heal up. But yeah, these are very tragic and very horrifying. Slightly different body type of guy, and a slightly different garment too. Now that 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 short kilt-like object, that makes me think Egypt more than Rome. And we have had hints of other cultures, although if that's a belt tie, it might just be a gladiator short tunic. So that's a blocked door. It's pretty clear that there's only one way to go around this place. But it's not always easy to tell which way zombies might be coming from. Or sorry, peeled statues. Huh. Now what's that? That writing is not Roman. Or Greek. I wish I could get a closer look at it. 
honestly, it looks Arabic, so I'm wondering if it's, uh, if it's Phoenician. Some kind of Semitic writing. Because you can see that bottom line, if you, if you read Arabic, that's some numerals. Ancient Semitic. Thanks, Kiki. statue up ahead. Alright. It never ends. Oof. I'll end it for you. If I can. Oh, I'm so bad at aiming this. If you can hit them in the head, it only takes one shot, but if you hit them elsewhere, it takes two. Ah, crap. me as they're trying to kill me. Gotta love it. <sighs> yeah. Um, I did pick this game for being low combat, but that is not no combat, and I'm still very bad at it. <laughs> uh, that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna make it through this. Get some more arrows. Nice little lararium over there. In the midst of these gold leaf Corinthian capped porphyry columns. Jeez, they don't call him the god of wealth for nothing, right? says, excuse me, sir, you? <laughs> yes, well, I, I think they're trying to get my attention so I would end them. Uh, which, you know, happily, but also, ah. Oh, one of these. I don't like this. Oh, hey, check it out. There's, like, a person up there. Our friend Naiwi, huh? Uh, okay, let's let's shoot the algae before these golden statues can come for me. Nope, too late. Okay. Ah, shit. Go away. Go away. Close. <laughs> oh, and this is how I end up wasting arrows. Yeah, you're wondering if if maybe Hades, like Proserpina, can speak through their mouths. I wonder. Maybe so. So... Got you. Got you. Are there any more of you suckers?
blocked pathway. Down there. If you say so. That's all for this area, because I really don't like them. I really don't. Back into the tunnels. Yes, I will take all the arrows I can get. of them to light this up in arrow view. that time. This whole palace run is incredibly tense. Like, they did a really good job making it unnerving. sparkling in the water, so I'm gonna have to try and... Alright. Aw, oh, crap. There are more of them back there. And... Got one. Shoot, shoot, go away. Oh, back. Far enough that I can hit you. That'll do. Phew. I've got to get better at aiming somehow. I'm wasting a lot of arrows. This must be incredibly infuriating for anybody who's actually good at this. Sorry. <laughs> I wonder if I can get through here now. Okay. I really hope there aren't more. I don't like standing next to them, but I don't want to move forward either. <laughs> Just 
Gotta wait for my health bar to refill. It's a good thing this isn't a zombie plague, because uh, I would be super zombified. It's also a good thing that shooting already zombified people does not break the golden rule. Yeah, I suppose so. Uh, I guess you just die. Uh, if, if shooting them broke the gold. Okay. That looks like a thing. accept more arrows. Welcome. Who oh boy? Uh, oh, that's a new mosaic. I don't think we've seen this one before. A bowl of peaches, maybe? Kind of hard to tell. Clearly, some kind of kitchen area. that at all. I'll take more arrows. Let's have a look around the kitchen. A very nicely decorated kitchen. These uh, beautiful wall panel paintings. A nice brick fireplace. That same sort of red shovel that we saw in Fabia's bakery. Um, lots of little decorated storage jars. Um, oh, coin pouch. Thanks. Some uh, presumably incredibly old bread. Maybe even cheese? I think that's supposed to be cheese. They did have quite a lot of cheese here in, in Rome, and we did see that Galerius has a goat. So, goat cheese, probably incredibly common. Alright. Gotta barricade that way, so... Okay. We are okay here. Zombie over here. We've also got our butterflies pointing us at this vase. Yeah, it seems to draw them in.
Fantastic. Got a bunch of them at once. Hopefully that's all of them for the area. Kind of hard to tell. I, I, I did. I did that. Looks like we should be able to get through here, but alas, we cannot. It's really, like I said, quite linear. Hey look, we can see the sky! <laughs> to remind you we're in a cave. Entire walls of porphyry, my goodness. There's so many people in here. That is very disturbing. Yeah, yeah, it is. It looks it looks more like dark red paint than anything, but I'm pretty sure it's meant to be statue blood. to the palace doors. Yes, please. And Naiwia's Journal Volume 2. My beloved Galatea, after I learned the terrible truth about the golden statues, I wandered the city as if in a nightmare. What must life be like for these poor souls, entombed in gold, but kept alive somehow? Trapped in their own personal Tartarus, consigned to eternal torment, too horrific for any sane mind to comprehend. I tried to offer them what small mercies I could. I began to talk to them, to keep them company. I'd imagine backstories for them, give them names, and tell them of the world, of the histories and stories I'd learned as a child. As the others became more concerned by my charity, I sought solitude from them preferring the company of my tormented charges. Discovering a way into the abandoned palace, I began to spend my days walking its halls and sharing with its occupants ancient tales, my mind turning to those of Apollo and Daphne, Perseus and Medusa, and Pygmalion and Galatea. Pygmalion, the sculptor who fell in love with a beautiful statue and who, praying to Aphrodite for aid, discovered that his beloved Galatea had come to life. It was then that I heard you whisper to me, Galatea. Forgive me. I know that is not your real name, just one I have borrowed from a story. But when I turned to look at you, I saw the most exquisitely beautiful woman I have ever known. Your face, forever frozen, in a look of haunting sadness. Our meeting gave me new purpose, to free you from your golden prison, so that I might one day hear you speak, not just whisper your true name to me. So I gathered tools for the long and difficult task ahead, barred the doors to this place, and set to work. Well, that's disturbing. Ah, oh, fuck is right. Um, so we had some intriguing mentions there of mythology. Apollo and Daphne, a story where Apollo chases a nymph, uh, having, having fallen in love with her. And she runs away and uh, trips and decides that she would rather be turned into a tree than submit to Apollo's lust. 
Um, she then turns into the laurel tree, which Apollo, being the rapey rape rape man that he is, uh, then decides to snip off into a laurel wreath and make his symbol for all time. Um, and then, oh, what was the second one she mentioned? I want to look at it again. My beloved Gandhi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After I learned the terrible truth about the Golden Ah, Perseus statues, and Medusa. So we've we've had some mentions of Medusa there. Um, Iraq. Oh, gross. Oh, boy. Iraq's not a torture device for nothing, I guess. Um, so, Medusa turning people to stone with her looks after having been raped by Poseidon, at least in the video. And um, Perseus, the one who finally was able to kill her. And then Pygmalion and Galatea, which Nywea obviously identifies the most with, taking a statue and falling so in lust with it that you try to turn it back into a human being. And um, so she's named one of the statues, Galatea and is uh, trying to be her own prayer to Aphrodite by peeling the statues who then beg for mercy. Yikes. Right. It was then that I heard you whisper to me, Galatea. Forgive me. I That's know not that quite high enough to get up there. Just one I have borrowed from a story. But when I turn to look at you, do we have I to? The most I don't want exquisitely to. beautiful woman I have ever known. Your face well, forever frozen go. in a look of haunting sadness. Our meeting gave me new purpose to free you from your golden prison so that I might one day hear you speak. Not oh, there we are. Die, 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 die. Kick. Kick it. So I gathered tools for the long and difficult task ahead. Barred the okay. doors to this place. Only got hit once. To work. God, I hate those things. So, I've reached the upper floor of the palace. And this repeating Proserpina motif. Even a, even a shrine. Oh, and here we have a little hint. We see a golden arrow stuck in a golden curtain, so we know we can turn the curtains to gold. But, just make note of this little shrine. That's an interesting item. That appears to be a carved stone... Um, memorial tablet. Although, this one in particular looks like it's Hadrian again. Um. Well, you can bet we're gonna find a lot more zombies out these curtains. I should stop calling them zombies. Oh yeah, you can see them on the other side of those curtains. trapped them, I sure hope. At least they can't come this way. Hey. Hi. Hey, you son of a bitches. But it looks like there is another opening over there. Which I'm not allowed to shoot from this angle.
Oh shit. Oh shit. Go away. Go away. Go away. Stay back. He won't stay back. Okay. Where are you? He will try to help me. Yes. That that's good. Cuz I'm not loving where I am. <laughs> I'm guessing this door is not something we can go through. No, of course not. So this must be back through that little garden. Oh, why thank you, statue, for helpfully pointing the way. suppose the good news is that if we uh, if we fall all the statues up to this point have been goldified thanks man like not, but unfortunately, uh, once I draw an arrow, I really have no way of putting it down without shooting it. Let's just shoot all curtains. Game designers put them there for a reason. decoration, I suppose. It's amazing how little of the fabric has been damaged for all of the chaos in here. Well, you see these perfectly fine stools, and then you have like places where vines and lichen have just destroyed entire sections. what you just said. Okay, so it was a preface to help. Okay. Oh. Well, I do have 90 arrows. Maybe I can afford to make it stop for them. Fucker. I should 
probably stop cursing so much. Two got through. Shit. Go, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. <laughs> oh boy, I really uh, did not do that as well as I hoped. health bar to come back. <laughs> Only 95 meters to the exit. Supposedly. <laughs> I do have a lot of arrows this time. That's good. Let's hope I don't need them. I don't want to kill 88 of these things. Yeah, Naiwi has been really busy. I mean, she's been in here for three months, but like... How does she keep them from killing her? Like, clearly she's been wandering around. does not move like that. modern tiled floors. Very nice sitting area. Did we draw all the all the goons out of here? That would be nice. Oh, we have another journal. My beloved Galatea, my attempts of freeing these souls from their golden prisons have not been going to plan. My first charge was a Greek woman who I called Iodami after the Athenian turned to stone by Medusa. Drilling through the gold that encased her, I was vindicated by the discovery that beneath half an inch of gold, which is so rigid it must be some kind of alloy, was living flesh. Unfortunately, 
This golden alloy seems to have fused with her skin, so removing it exposed the sinew and muscle beneath and appeared to cause her great pain. At first, I braced myself, expecting that inflicting such pain would break the golden rule, and yet, somehow, it did not. It seems whichever god is responsible for imprisoning these poor souls does not care about their suffering at all. They are forsaken. Undeterred, I pressed on, working late into the night, attempting to remove the golden layer that encased her as delicately as I could. Eventually, I was able to free most of her body, but when I released her from her restraints, her first act was to lunge for my throat, clawing at me with all her strength and those sharp metal talons. This was my thanks for trying to save her. Whatever possessed Iodami to attack, she was clearly not a suitable subject for my experiment, and I was forced to lock her inside an isolated wing of the palace and bar the door. As I continued working on others, I could hear her flailing and launching herself at the other side endlessly. Regrettably, my other experiments bore similar results, and after relocating a few times, most of the palace is now too dangerous to work in. Still, as much as my heart aches to know that you're suffering, I cannot risk attempting to ungild you yet. Not until I have perfected a method that will bring you back to me, whole in both mind and body, and ensuring your humanity is preserved. I promise you this. One day, we will be together, even if I have to free every last statue in this god's forsaken place. Yeah, oh, okay. Whew. So, that's a... It's a take. I'm a little worried about this Nywea person. I don't think it's the uh, whispers that drove her over the edge. <laughs> Somebody willing to inflict torture upon people. Torture she thought was bad enough to break the golden rule? Just... This, this many times, as many times as she has. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Alright. Oh, okay. So this is the balcony we saw her on before, even. Yikes. Holes in here. Yes, somewhere. There. Did I miss?
Oh shit. Stop if you stop coming for me. Shit, 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 shit. Am I gonna die? I'm gonna die. Die. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I wonder where it takes me to. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sir, I don't like it. Third time's a charm, right? before you start running. I have no way of drawing my bow far enough once they get me cornered like that. Oh boy. <laughs> I do not like dying in games. This is not cool. once. Oh. At least it doesn't penalize me. Not much. Right. Gotta have my bow up. I'm trying to get the jar. It just really is not working too well. My aim is too bad.
shoot. I'm sure I hit the jar that time. Well, my goal was to get through this palace run, but I may run out of time. Stop. Alright, last try. This doesn't work. I'm done for the day. I will get through this fight on my own off stream and we'll pick up with the end of the palace run next time. I'm gonna call it here for now. Thanks so much for sticking with me. I will I will get through this part on my own, no matter how many tries it takes me, and we will pick up again from as far as we got to before I died the first time. Uh, thanks so much for coming to my stream, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next week.